What's happening with Aurora Cannabis in the stock market? This is a question that has been on the minds of many, especially those with a keen interest in the medicinal marijuana industry. Over the past year, the company has seen a significant decline in its stock price, tumbling down from $11.5 to a mere $3.32, a drop that has left many investors scratching their heads in bewilderment. This downward trajectory can be attributed to several factors, including fierce competition, financial challenges, stock dilution, and regulatory uncertainty. Each of these elements has played a part in the company's current predicament, contributing to the dramatic depreciation of its stock value. However, the story of Aurora Cannabis is not one solely of doom and gloom. There are signs on the horizon that suggest a potential turnaround. Let's delve into why Aurora Cannabis has seen such a fall in the stock market. So, what led to the downfall of Aurora Cannabis in the stock market? Well, it's a tale as old as time, or at least as old as the stock market itself. The price of Aurora Cannabis went from $11.5 to a meager $3.32 within a year. Quite a steep fall, isn't it? Now let's dissect the reasons behind this downfall. First off, competition. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and Aurora Cannabis found itself in the jaws of some pretty hefty rivals. With the cannabis market expanding and more players stepping onto the field, the competition heated up. Unfortunately, Aurora couldn't quite keep up. Then there's the issue of financial troubles. In the race to grow, companies often find themselves biting off more than they can chew. Aurora Cannabis was no different. With rapid expansion came increased costs, and unfortunately, the revenues couldn't match up. This imbalance led to financial instability, which, as you can guess, didn't sit well with the investors. We can't discuss the downfall without mentioning the dilution of shares. To keep the ship afloat amidst financial turbulence, Aurora Cannabis had to issue more shares. While it might have seemed like a good idea at the time, it diluted the value of existing shares, leading to a drop in the stock price. Last but not least is regulatory uncertainty. The cannabis industry, though booming, is still in a gray area in many jurisdictions. This uncertainty around regulations made investors wary, and the stock price of Aurora Cannabis paid the price. So, there you have it, the four horsemen of Aurora's downfall, competition, financial problems, dilution of shares, and regulatory uncertainty. However, don't lose hope yet. There are signs that the price could rise. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another scene. What are these signs that the price of Aurora Cannabis might rise? Let's talk about technical indicators. The price seems to have found a stable footing at $3.26 and a resistance level at $3.48. This suggests a consolidation zone. The RSI or Relative Strength Index is at 46, indicating a neutral price zone. Now let's look at the MACD or Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's below the zero line, signaling a bearish trend. But it's close to crossing above the signal, which could be a buy signal. Finally, there's the TRIX or Triple Exponential Moving Average. It's also below the zero line, suggesting a downward trend. But it's showing a positive divergence with the price, which could mean the bearish trend is losing steam. These indicators suggest a potential turning point for Aurora Cannabis. So, what does the future hold for Aurora Cannabis? Now that's the million-dollar question. Here's what our analysis suggests. Aurora Cannabis could be nearing a tipping point. There are signs that suggest a potential price increase on the horizon. We could see the value rising to around $4 in the short term. If the stars align just right, we might even see it hit the $6 mark in the medium term. But let's pump the brakes for a second. This is not a cue for you to start throwing your money around. This prediction is just that. A prediction. It's our opinion based on the data we've analyzed. It's not an investment recommendation. So, what's the takeaway? Do your homework, analyze the market, consider all the variables, then, and only then, make your own decisions. Remember, always do your own analysis and make your own decisions. And that's our take on Aurora Cannabis. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, show some love by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and ring that bell to never miss an episode. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below. Next time, we'll be exploring another intriguing facet of the cannabis industry. Join us next time on our journey through the world of cannabis. Until then, stay curious.